Hi, my name is Dana with Educate Regenerate for another episode of Outside Every Day. And today we are going to be making ivy crowns. And this is a very simple one that I just made, but it gives you an idea. And this is English ivy. This is something that you have probably seen. Um, I see it everywhere around here in the Rogue Valley. It tends to grow in big clumps. It likes to grow up in trees. Um, it grows all over the ground. Um, if you look away for one second, it'll it'll just take over an area. It is something that is called an invasive plant, which means that it um, likes to take over. And so it is a very pretty plant, which is why it makes really nice crowns. Um, but it is also not a plant that you necessarily want everywhere. And so, um, this is ivy that I found in the house that I am moving into very soon. And so I thought that it would be great while I was pulling a ton of it off of a tree um, that I could show you guys a really great craft that you could do with that ivy. And so if you have ivy at your home or if you see it at a park that you go to or if it's growing um, maybe uh, somewhere nearby, and you know um, that it's not in a good spot, you could ask the person that it belongs to because um, you could, because it's, it's definitely a good idea to get rid of it. Um, obviously maintaining your social distancing. Um, but let's get started on making our crowns. So when you pull up your English ivy, first of all, I want to make assure you it is not poison ivy. Poison ivy does not grow on the west coast of the United States, so, and it is not pokey. Um, you don't have to worry about there being thorns or anything like that. There might be blackberries growing in amongst um, the English ivy. Sometimes that happens, um, but the English ivy itself, it's just stems and leaves. Um, so you don't need to worry about your fingers, although there's no harm in wearing gloves. Um, but you want to make sure that you're pulling off little pieces that are thin and that are still bendable. Because um, believe it or not, these stems, when um, they're left to grow, can actually get really, really big and thick. And um, the ones that are growing on a tree at my new house are actually this thick. And they can actually um, kill trees. They get so big. Um, and so you want to make sure that you're getting stems that are really thin that you can still bend. And so you get and you want to pick them as long as you possibly can. See, here's a short one. And I'll still use this, but it's not a great one. Here's a nice long piece. And then you want to wrap it around your head. There we go. And find how wide you need to make it. And then you just start wrapping it inside and outside. And that's pretty simple. You don't need to do any fancy knots. You're just wrapping it inside and outside. And you can do it pretty loosely. And you want to be gentle so that you don't knock the leaves off. There we go. And now I've got a frame that fits my head. And now I just take, now I can take that little piece and I can wrap that in. And I'll just keep on going until it's full enough. You know, maybe this is good enough or maybe you want lots and lots of leaves. few more pieces. And you can add in other things besides ivy. I went around this morning and I picked a few other things in my garden here. Um, and if you have flowers, that's great. It could be things besides flowers too. In fact, I don't have a lot of flowers. So I don't know if I even got any flowers um, blooming right now in this garden. 
Um, you can even use things that aren't ivy as your base. I have right here a clematis growing. Um, I didn't want to cut that because I like it, but it has vines too that I could use. Um, anything that's got long, uh, thin, and uh, bendy vines would work really well for this. All right, so now I've got some more leaves on my crown, and I could keep going because I have a lot of ivy here, but I want to show you guys how to add in some decoration. So here are just a few things that I picked in my garden this morning um, to add a little bit of variety. Oh, here, I did get some flowers, but not a lot of flowers. This I got off my tree right here. Um, I also got some euphorbia, just for a little bit of color. This is some white sage. And then, oh, and then this is from some kale that went to seed, or that bolted. And so this, like for example, this euphorbia, it's not a flower, but it's a different color. And so it might add, it might be really pretty. And I actually haven't done this before. So let's see how it works. And so I'm just gonna bend this in a couple times. There, and now I've got the euphorbia in there. And of course, everything that you add in, you want to make sure that it has really bendy stems. If it's really, if it's woody, or if it's really stiff, um, it'll just break when you try to wind it in. If it's got a tiny little stem, you can just poke it in, which I might have to do with this. There we go. And then I'll put some flowers on this end. Now parents, this is a really great activity to do if you're at the park and you're looking for some crafts to do. Whoops, I broke this one. Oh well. As you can just so long as, of course, you're, you're not over picking anything, you can just pick a few different things and make some really pretty crowns. And I personally um, am always a fan of um, uh, cleaning up the ivy and parks and things like that. You know, you're not doing any harm by pulling out a few strands of ivy. Um, just so long as you're not making it look bad. All right. So, in just a few minutes, I have made, not bad, I'm going to keep working on this, but you can start to get the sense of my crown here. Oh, my euphorbia is falling out. There we go. But see, I've added the sage, and I've added the euphorbia, and I do have some flowers in there, but it's hard to see. Oh, and I've got a little tendril right here but you can just keep on adding to this and you can do so much with it. Um, you could add yarn or fun little baubles that you have in the house. Let me add it. There we go. Um, you can do all sorts of fun things like this and the ivy will keep for a few days and so you can um, play all sorts of fun games with it. And so I hope this was fun and um, you learned a little bit about English ivy as well. And so have a great day and uh, I hope you get outside every day.